Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Dennis here. In today's video, I will give you a quick overview of the Rinai RU Series Tankless Water Heaters Parameter Setting Menu. This is a deep menu that in order to be accessed, the front panel needs to be taken down and a button on the motherboard needs to be pushed. Among others, this menu allows for the activation of the instant hot water circulation pump feature in the RUI model number water heaters. As you can see right here, I have the setting chart for everything you can customize. Settings 11 through 14 are model number specific. They are locked by the manufacturer and no changes could be made here. Today, we will focus on the settings to the left that you might need to toggle as needed. If you at any time need to refer to this chart, rewind back to this portion of the video and pause it. Take your time to read through the chart to make sure you get the settings right. This is a video of how the procedure is actually done. Once you have taken down the front panel, approach the water heater and push the off button to turn the unit off. Do not disconnect the unit from the power supply. Once the screen goes blank, in the inner right bottom, locate the motherboard and those two buttons. The one on the top is button A. Push and hold it until the screen displays O1A or O1B. Setting O1 is for maximum set temperature. By default, this comes set at A, which limits the max temperature to 120 Fahrenheit. Switching over to O1B raises the temperature to 140 Fahrenheit. To alternate between settings, use arrow up and arrow down. To alternate between selections, for each setting, push the on-off button. Setting O2 is for high altitude. The default selection is A for altitudes of up to 2,000 feet. Select O2B for altitudes of 2,000 through 5,400 feet. Selection C for altitudes of 5,400 through 7,700 feet. And selection D for altitudes of 7,700 to 10,200 feet. Setting O3 is service soon. This feature reminds you that it is time for service. The default selection is A, service notification disabled. Selection B will notify you every six months. Selection C will notify you every year. And selection D will trigger the beep every two years. The notification is in a form of a beep. When the beep comes on, to cancel it, push on off button five consecutive times. Now, you can do that without entering this menu. You don't have to enter this menu to cancel the beep. You can push the on-off button five consecutive times at any time to cancel the beep. This will reset the notification until it's time for it again. O4 is for recirculation settings. You will need to make changes here if you have a RU1 model number water heater and are using the circulation pump feature with either a dedicated return line or a bypass valve. The default selection is A for no recirculation. Switch over to B to enable the recirculation pump feature. Keep in mind that in addition to the before measured settings, you also need to replace the water plug with the mesh water filter located on the bottom left just by the hot water outlet. Setting O5 becomes available after the circulation pump is turned on. The default selection here is A, which stands for economy. Selection B is for comfort. In economy mode, the instant hot water feature runs less often, prioritizing energy savings. While in comfort mode, the pump runs more often, prioritizing hot water at your taps. Setting O6 is for control switch. Selection A is for BMS and selection B for air handler. You will not need to do anything here unless your water heater is also used for space heating through a hydronic system. If this is the case, this will be handled by a professional. Setting 07 is for units in standby, when an easy connect is in use. This setting is to be adjusted when two D9 water heaters are linked to work together. The default selection is A, in which both units will fire up every time hot water is demanded, while in selection B, only one unit will fire up initially. Every time the system starts up, the units will alternate. When a large amount of hot water is demanded, both units will always fire up. Setting 08 
Setting 10 is for the type of gas used. The default selection is A for natural gas. Selection B is for liquid propane. So if you are running propane, you will have to come and select B here. Keep in mind that depending on the water heater model you have, you might also need to take additional steps such as replacing the orifice for the gas manifold. Setting 11 is for maximum flow rate. The default selection A is for standard flow and B for maximum flow. Selecting B will give you more water flow. This is the last setting you can make. Once you're done with the settings, to exit the menu, go back to the motherboard and push and hold the A button until the screen goes blank. Then push the on button to turn the unit back on. Congratulations, your water heater has been reprogrammed. Alright guys, with this set, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Of course, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. See you soon.